New South Wales on the inside, Chris Niafutu, then Patrick Johnson, who's been in spectacular form, Alvin Harrison, who set this metre light last year. Here's Adam Miller on the inside, World Junior Championship semi-finalist. Chris Niafutu, just 18 years of age, also a World Junior Championship representative. And then Patrick Johnson. What did you make of that, Jane, when you heard the news? He ran 9.88, and it wasn't a typo. It was well, fair dinkum. and actually, the wind wasn't as strong as you would think with that kind of time. Patrick has been in fantastic form. He's been running really good time since December. And it's great to see, because really it was up to either him or to Matt Shervington. Now, they, they do have to take another step up, and it looks like Patrick's been the one to do it. He's got some competition today, too. Elvin Harrison who ran 20.54 here last year into a big headwind. Olympic silver medalist in the 400 behind Michael Johnson, national champion over 400 metres in the United States. It's not a bad CV, and we haven't mentioned his two Olympic gold medals in the relay. Ambrose Azinwa, my Kemasud Nigerian, who's based in Sydney, has done a lot of running. And the national champion, David Geddes, who missed the Commonwealth Games with a, an injury. And it was supposed to be his first team, so it would have been terribly disappointing to him. Just making his way back again from injury. He had a setback earlier this season, but he's in this field. Craig Sconce we've just seen. And Luke Mansfield, 17-year-old, second in the Australian Youth Olympic Festival in Sydney in January. So it's a talented line-up here, and the conditions are perfect. If we can have a legal tailwind, we might see a super-fast time. They're just about set. They're away on the outside, it's Mansfield, then Sconce. Geddes has begun well, along with Azinwa, Harrison and Patrick Johnson has ripped through the first 100 metres. He's up on the inside of Harrison and he's got the measure of Azinwa and Geddes. Johnson in front, Harrison comes at him along with Azinwa. Johnson stretching away, he's going to win this. It's a great run, it's fast too, 20-25. Azinwa second, Harrison third and Patrick Johnson is in shape. The 200 metres has always been the better event for Patrick Johnson anyway. When he's in form or out of form, the 200 metres is always better than the 100. So all the 100 metres has done has indicated what has come today. Gee, if he can just remain injury free, he does look fitter and leaner. Patrick has not looked that fit, I have to say, for the last couple of years. Have a look at that. He's so pumped up and focused, isn't he? The wind, unfortunately, is plus 2.6, but you still have to move your legs fast. He gets the challenge here from Harrison. He's run too he's far. Come, well, he's come so fast outside that he needed a chicane to keep him on track. He really did sling off the bend. You can see through Patrick's shoulders that he's been working really hard even in the gym. And he has had a number of injuries, I know that, and often that's the reason given for him not performing up to what was expected of him probably half a dozen years ago when he was spotted actually as a novice running at the World University, uh, sorry, the Australian University Games in Canberra by one of the AIS coaches. In fact, they saw him out of the window of their offices, and that was when he came to the sport of track and field. He raced down Essa Patola. He couldn't believe he's lucky. Like finding a diamond in the rough. He's refined his technique, and he's in the best form of his life. Well, you can only ever make comment on the kind of form someone's showing, and boy, is Patrick in form. He's in great form, and he looks fit, and you can understand why he's running as fast as he is. And the wind was only 0.6 above legal limit, which is just a whisper of a wind. Look at the times. Down to Luke Mansfield, 20.82 for the 17-year-old. It's impressive stuff. Yeah, it's just my body catching up to my, my mind. I've been able to get through the heavy training. And it's been steady, steady. It's been sort of like five years. On and off, I've been able to run fast, but then... Of the meet, the women's 300 metres.